Hey, hey, planner babes, Ashley here with Ashley Anderson Creates. Today we are getting the monthly section of my mini social media happy planner all set up and ready to go for the month of May. So I have some stickers that I've already pulled out. I'm going to be using the Squad Goals mini sticker book. Kind of old school, not super old school. I mean, this one just came out not too long ago, like last year, but still yet it feels we've had a lot of sticker books since then so it feels kind of old school to me now here I also have a pre-planning sheet so I print off a printable monthly calendar I just get on Google I find one I print it off and that's where I do my pre-planning and as you can see that's where I get messy with it that's where I figure out what videos I'm gonna do on what day and I move things around kind of look at my schedule and different things like that now the only downside right now is that I don't have my work schedule for the rest of May. So you'll see that I only planned the first um, three weeks, I believe. Hold on, I have to check it. Let me pull up my, I got my planner right here in front of me. Um, no, I planned four weeks. So, no, I planned three weeks. Yes, I planned three weeks. I didn't plan that last week, that's right. So I did get all my videos planned for most of the month, but once I see what my schedule is for that last week of May, um, actually it's the last two weeks of May, but it's kind of, it's kind of hard to explain the third week. So the week of the ninth, I will not actually be like, I'll post, you guys will see videos come up, but I won't actually be creating content that week. I'm taking that week off as far as creating content goes, but I am going to the week before I'm going to plan um, like film and edit those videos in advance. So I'm still posting stuff. So you guys still have stuff to watch. Um, but I've got everything planned out. It's the week after that that I'm not really for sure what my schedule is going to look like. So here I'm using these cute little dots um, like circle stickers from the Squad Goals sticker book to note my videos. Usually I'm inside of a classic happy planner and I use box stickers which I absolutely love. No spread I don't think is complete without at least one box sticker. Um, so I kind of miss having my boxes on the months but or on the days I mean for my videos, but this is super cute. I love it. With a mini happy planner, you do have to get creative with some of the stickers that you use because um, even with a mini sticker book, sometimes, especially in the monthly section, the box stickers are still a little too big. Uh, so you just have to get creative with that. But that's the first thing that I did. And then from there, once I can see where those videos are gonna go, I can start to decorate a little bit more. Sunset slow, hey. I love the little biz babe squad girls I think that they are so cute so they've got their little bag some of them have glasses on they've got their coffee cups I just love it I love the cute little clear stickers too you guys will see me add some here in a minute of the like the laptop and the glasses and the coffee mugs and stuff and the cell phone I just think that those are so cute and those are perfect for social media and for content creation at least for what I'm using this planner for I thought that they matched up perfectly so I'm glad that I chose this sticker book and if you haven't used one of your older sticker books even if it just came out last year if you haven't used it in a while I want to challenge you to grab it because we don't always have to use all the new things I recently got a squad box which I'm incredibly thankful for and I wanted to use some of those stickers but I was like you know what I haven't used these ones in forever and I really want to use them 
I think it would work out perfectly, so I did, and I love the way it turned out. And listen, I always say there are two style of stickers that you can always go to if you are in it, if you're like, I don't know what to use. Like, you ever get like that where you're just like, oh, I don't, I don't know which sticker books I want to use, or you're just not really feeling too inspirational? The two sticker books that I always recommend is anything with florals. You can always fall back on florals. They always pull through for you. And so do the squad girls. I love all of the squad stickers. I'm hoping that the Happy Planner brings some more out because they, they're one of my favorites. And every time I use them, even whenever I've not wanted to plan or I wasn't feeling inspired or wasn't for sure what sticker book to use, if I pull out the squad girls, like I'm always happy with the outcome. Does that make sense? So if you guys have a sticker book or like a category of stickers that you gravitate towards, let me know down in the comment section. Like, is there a sticker book that you're, you can always fall back to? You know, it's got your back. You know that no matter what, you'll be able to create a cute spread with it. So just let me know down in the comments because I'm curious which sticker books do that for you guys. But for me, it's always florals and the squad girls. So I take these, you'll see them here in just a second, I don't have them yet, but I take the glasses and I put them over that orange box over in the top left corner and I want to explain to you what I did. So I have this little paper cutting tool, it's, the name of it is Slice, like you slice it, like you're slicing the paper. I picked this up at Hobby Lobby, I really love this thing because um, it doesn't cut your skin. So if my, my son was to get a hold of it or something, which he usually doesn't bother any of my supplies here in my office, but if he was to grab it, I don't have to worry about him cutting his skin open versus my other paper cutter that I have that will legit probably cut your finger off. But anyways, I took that slice little tool that I have and I cut a section out of that orange sticker. So when I put those glasses on there, you wouldn't see the orange behind it. Now I do have jelly roll pins and I could have used those. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of the jelly roll pins though, so I thought it would be better just to cut that out. And then um, it's as if the glasses, like you, you don't see the sticker behind the glasses. You'll see here whenever I stick that, the glasses down onto the page. If you guys noticed but I actually did not speed this video up this literally took me about 10 minutes um, just to sit down and knock this out the hardest part about creating the monthly like getting my monthly part of my social media planner all set up is pre-planning the videos and figuring out um, what videos I want to create now I have an entire video up on my I mean literally my entire process of how I plan out social media videos um, even up until what apps I use to help me post to Instagram, like the whole, the whole nine yards. I have all of that. So you guys can watch that video if you're into social media planning and you need some more tips or direction or whatever with that. But this really didn't take me that long. And if I speed this up, it's like a, I don't know, I think it was like five minute video. So, I mean, I guess I could have sped it up, but this is like a real time plan with me, which I've not done in a very long time because usually it takes me way longer to get through my spreads but this is why I love a mini and this is why I'm going mini at least for the summer because it's a little bit faster you don't have as much space to decorate and also um, you know how with like a classic size planner there's a there's like a lot of white space and you feel like you have to figure out ways to fill that in with a mini I don't feel that way so it kind of streams like streamlines that process a little bit more so that I'm not overwhelmed with all my planners does that make sense I hope that makes sense, but this is not sped up and I, um, I'm really excited that I was able to do that. Now the blue sticky note that you guys see there, that says used squad goals mini. And so that lets me know what sticker book I use. So when I come back, if I want to add videos to this, if I want to decorate a little bit more or whatever, 
I know what sticker book I used and then at the end of the month um, I just take that sticky note off and I pitch it and I do that for all my monthly spreads so I know what sticker books I used if I need to come back if I'm changing videos out you know rearranging things in my planner in the monthly section I I know what stickers to grab All right, my social media planner is all set up and ready to go for the month of May. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments section. And um, again, don't forget, let me know which sticker books that you gravitate towards whenever you're not for sure what to plan because I seriously want to know. I may even try to do, um, maybe pull out some of mine that I have and do a spread with them. Hey, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Seriously, have an incredible day, my friend, and I will see you in the next video.